Hi, I'm Ethan. I love muzzleloading, and this is everything you need to know about the Kibler Fowler. The Kibler Fowler is expected to begin shipping in June 2024, and according to the Kibler team, orders will ship in order that they were placed. So if you're somebody who pre-ordered early, it's likely that your kit will be one of the first kits out the door when Kibler begins shipping later this year. The styling for the Kibler Fowler is based on English export Fowlers from the 1760s to 1770s. Many of these Fowlers arrived in the American or North American colonies during that time period. This type of Fowler was often sold at general stores and were reportedly some of the most common firearms for the period. Kibler says that the Fowler has a classic English design and is the perfect muzzleloader for reenactors. We're seeing Jim really leverage the development time for his round faced English lock here. This will be the third kit that he offers that uses that same lock. From a manufacturing perspective, the Kibler Fowler follows in the footsteps of the Kibler Woods Runner. The stocks are machined on the same new model five axis CNC machine that makes it possible to do very precise inletting very tight stock finishing, as well as Kibler's own CNC carving. The Kibler Fowler is the first kit to come stock with CNC carving. It features relief shell carving around the tang, as well as relief lock moldings and beaver tails. Speaking of stock, Kibler recommends walnut for historic accuracy with this Fowler. Many English import fowling pieces from the period were an English walnut, but Kibler is offering this in American black walnut due to supply chain logistics. He's still trying to find, according to the American Long Rifle Forums, he's trying to find an English walnut source that is not cost prohibitive to offer for his line of kits. But in the meantime, Kibler has mentioned again on the American Long Rifles Forum that you should join, that he is experimenting with offering a collection of stains that will allow you to stain or finish out your American walnut to look a little bit more like English walnut. The Kibler Fowler will be available in 16 or 20 gauge. The length of pull is 13 and 5 eighths inches. And the overall length is about 60 inches. Again, much like the Woods Runner, the Kibler Fowler is set up with a single trigger. The barrel is a thin-walled, lightweight, three-stage barrel with a round forward section followed by a shorter round section of larger diameter and finally an octagon breech. This is a very interesting barrel choice because of this three-stage design here. Jim has stated that this is a very common barrel profile for the period. It's not very common in contemporary work. The front sight and pre-drilled underlugs will be soldered onto the barrel. The barrel on the Kibler Fowler does not have a rear sight. According to Jim's post on the American Long Rifles Forum, the barrels for the Kibler Fowler are being made by Rice Barrel. At the time of recording, Jim is not offering any choke options on the Kibler Fowler, but he has stated in some public comments on the forums that he is investigating and looking into using some of the machinery that he has to modify these barrels and offer a jug choke in this model in the future. This is where the preciseness of Jim's product development here comes in handy. Both the 16 and the 20 gauge barrels are gonna have the same exterior. If you want to try a different caliber or a different bore in this Fowler, you will be able to order another barrel. And presumably, if we, we take Jim's history here, this is speculation, but if we look at Jim's product history here, if he does in fact offer a choked barrel in the future, you will likely be able to purchase that as a product on its own and it will drop into your Kibler Fowler if and when he does offer that. Jug choking is a very popular option for modern muzzleloading enthusiasts looking for traditional styling in their hunting arms, but with a little bit more accuracy and uh, pattern tightening, we'll say. Apart from the barrel and lock, the rest of the hardware on the Kibler Fowler will be made of brass, including a new to the Kibler lineup relief cast thumb plate. Unlike the Kibler Woods Runner, the Kibler Fowler butt plate is a cast butt plate, but Jim has said that these butt plates will likely be fit by the team before they get shipped out. He is considering machining those butt plates in the future, but for right now, those are cast pieces. I cannot discuss pricing for the Kibler Fowler on YouTube, but you can check out my full article about the new kit at ilovemuzzleloading.com or visit kiblerslongrifles.com to learn more for yourself and check it out.
I get a lot of questions about what muzzleloader to get for a variety of applications, but one of the biggest questions I get a lot is about a smooth bore or a fouling piece muzzleloader for wing shooting or small game hunting. I'm excited to see the Kibler Fowler hit the market here very soon. I think it's gonna fill a massive hole. There's been a gap for a while for an affordable, easier to put together kit out there. There's a ton of other great varieties of fouling pieces out there in kit and completed form. But as we've seen with the Kibler product lineup, they're very popular for people with maybe a limited skill set or that might be feeling a little self-conscious about their ability to work with hand tools and their hands to be able to have a nice looking muzzleloader that works well and functions. That's all I've got for you. I'm Ethan, I love muzzleloading. If you have any questions about this or anything else related to muzzleloading, don't hesitate to reach out at ilovemuzzleloading at gmail.com or leave a comment in this video. I try to read every single one when I can and answer as many as possible. I'm excited to see this come out. I'm excited to see what folks do with it. And I'm excited to see more muzzleloaders in people's hands. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.